You know those times when you don't know what to expect but you end up being very pleasantly surprised? Well, that was my experience this morning when I picked up this Stormbreaker single axle caravan by Deluxe Caravans. I wasn't particularly familiar with their range, so I've hitched up the van. It's got a DA35 coupling. I've brought it here to one of my favourite campsites north of Melbourne. Now, this is a bunk layout, but it's not your typical bunk layout. And that is one of the things that caught my eye about this caravan. So let's step inside so I can show you more clearly what I mean. Now this is an 18 foot 6 inch caravan, they've also got a 19 foot 6 inch layout as well as a 21 6 layout. But as I said, one of the things that really caught my eye is this bunk setup. The way that they run east to west makes the beds just that little bit longer. And you've also got a couple of storage options, one on either side. These are full wardrobes and what's more, these wardrobes are actually pretty spacious. I don't think the kids are going to have too much difficulty working out where to put their things. Now moving forward, we have a split bathroom. This is a little bit unusual, not something you would see a lot of on an 18 foot 6 inch caravan. On this side we have a cassette toilet, a small wash basin. I like the fact that we've got the black tapware. While on this side of the caravan, we have the full shower. This is a fully moulded shower cubicle made of fiberglass. The fact that there's no joins, it's just not going to leak, is it? Now the kitchen comes with this four burner cooktop. There's a griller as well as a full oven. While over here, the black sink, the black tapware with filtered drinking water. Now this is a 188 litre Dometic three-way fridge. It's probably a little bit larger than what I would have expected to find on a fairly compact caravan. So to me, that's a bit of a bonus. Now, one thing to point out is that this caravan does come as standard with a microwave, but the customers who bought this particular van intentionally omitted the microwave. That was a personal choice of theirs. You might be wondering, how do they fit so much equipment on board? I mean, you've got those bunks, a split bathroom, big fridge. Well, a lot of it comes down to the fact that we have an east to west bed up in the nose of the van. These are a fantastic way to save space in a layout. And here we've got a Sirocco fan, we have reading lights, integrated USB points. And over here, we have a little storage nook, a little recess. There aren't too many options fitted to this caravan. By and large, what you see is what you get as standard. However, the customer of this caravan has optioned in a few features. One of those is this premium large Dometic slide out kitchen, full self-supporting unit, three burner uh, gas stove. You've got a sink with hot and cold water and you've got a drawer here as well. Now at the front of the caravan, just on top of that storage box on the A-frame, uh, Deluxe Caravans has fitted a bike rack. It is a bunk van after all. The kids are gonna wanna bring their bikes along, aren't they? So I reckon that's a good standard feature to fit on any family caravan. Meanwhile, what we have here is a slide out tray. And of course, that's gonna suit your portable fridge. We have another slide out tray here on the offside. This is gonna suit a portable generator. Now, if the people who bought this caravan didn't fit that slide out kitchen, we would actually have a full tunnel boot storage system here. Nonetheless, we still have some space on the offside, while further back, we have yet another storage cupboard. The Stormbreaker uses three ton rated tough ride independent coil suspension, and you might have noticed that rear cutaway. That's a nice little feature for an off road caravan such as this. Now, this particular Stormbreaker is framed up in Maranti timber and it has composite aluminium cladding. However, if you wanted to, Deluxe Caravans can do an aluminium aluminium frame with a full fiberglass sandwich panel roof and a honeycomb floor structure. But what about the electrics? Well, this caravan comes with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and then you've got three 170 watt solar panels as standard equipment and that's a fairly generous amount of solar. And what would any off-road caravan be without a fairly generous water supply? Here we've got two 95 litre tanks as well as a 110 litre grey water tank mounted at the back of the caravan. In terms of your weights, this caravan tears in at 2400 kilos and it has an ATM of 3000 kilos and an unladen bull weight of 200 kilos. So on these figures, this caravan is well and truly suitable for your mid-size four-wheel drive, such as your Pajero Sport and of course your MUX. Now I said at the top of this review that I was pleasantly surprised by this store breaker and that's true. 
there's just quite a lot here to talk about and it's all the more impressive given the fact that the caravan is only actually 18 foot 6 inches on a single axle. The bedroom at the back of the caravan, that split bathroom, this comfortable dinette, the forward east-west bed, it all adds up to a very cohesive and livable interior. So if you haven't heard of deluxe caravans before, I do recommend giving them a look because this Stormbreaker, I reckon, does have quite a bit to offer. It feels sturdy, it feels substantial, it doesn't feel like any corners have been cut here. My only regret is that I don't have more time to hitch up this caravan and head off to the Flinders Ranges because it's been a while since I've been there and I wouldn't mind going back.